Hello all, Scotty here and welcome back to Let's Play with Medieval Engineers. I've been having a little bit of fun with the physics in my power recording, in turn I've been creating massive structures and then raising them to the ground using the people around the projectiles you get when you first get the game. So, seeing as though you guys seem to like massive amounts of destruction, such as in Besiege and in Space Engineers, I figured you guys might want to see a video of this castle crumbling to the ground. Now, I haven't actually worked out how to make my own siege equipment yet. That's something I still need to do. So I'm going to be using the projectiles that you just throw. Now, at first I'm just going to use a very small one uh, because that doesn't completely obliterate everything. The structures can actually hold up to that kind of destruction a little bit. As you can see, it doesn't actually completely fall to bits. It packs a bit of a punch, but it doesn't raise it to the ground. It doesn't like cause massive structural failure. At least in most cases, it just kind of... Um, hits the weight it slightly, it doesn't actually cause any massive um, fall down, as you can see it kind of just bounces off, which is what you'd expect for a medieval structure, if it's several inches, thi inches thick, once I can get my words out, it wouldn't just collapse, uh, and some of them were even reinforced uh, to take a little bit of punishment. Now what I am looking forward to doing is if they add like different quality uh, walls and maybe thicker walls which can stand up to a bit more punishment because if you start using the bigger um, things, if you start using the bigger uh, projectiles then it does a lot of damage. It more or less kind of takes out the entire side of the structure which would be very bad if you was in said tower trying to defend it. <laughs> now you guys have seen me play the game Stronghold and you've seen how... What the fuck? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> um, okay. What? How, how did I... Okay then. Whoop. Alright, so... <laughs> I think I just glitched the gate. Boop. Fair enough. Um... What was I even saying? In, in Stronghold, you guys saw that uh, various siege engines will do different ma uh, different amounts of damage, and some are literally only for troops. Now, what would oh god freezing? Now, what would be nice is if I could have some pre-created uh, siege engines on the walls of this tower, and that I'll most like I will most likely do that. Uh, when I get to grips with the actual creation of things, so I am still getting used to the game. But I do like the destruction of it. I do like how the actual uh, uh, tower will fall to bits. <coughs> oh, bloody hell. Okie dokie. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to switch back to the small projectile, just to see how this sort of mocked and Bailey castle will stand up to the punishment. This is sort of like a standard look castle um, that you most likely get uh, in terms of this is like a keep. Uh, this central bit here is a keep where if the castle was under attack and breached uh, then the defenders would retreat here and attempt to defend the structure unless there's a massive flying man who's got magical powers and will kill them all. Okay, okay. Oh god, that actually flew me backwards slightly. Okay, so let's turn fly off. Whee! There we go. Oh god, <laughs> that was a smaller, that was a uh, a bigger fall than I was was expecting. Can I get up the? Get, can I? Can I? Can I get up? There you go. Now I don't think everything has been added yet in terms of the um, objects. Uh, if you remember, in Space Engineers, they initially had. Uh, just like a few basic things when I first did my video they literally only had the very basic um, ships they only had the very basic um, layout of everything and then they've fleshed it out since now I'm gonna see if I can get this entire thing just to collapse by taking out the outer wall now you guys saw in my prior video if you watched it uh, that I'll use the biggest bigger thing you guys saw in my prior video uh, that there's a little bit of a bug with the physics, I don't know if that's been fixed, that if you create a structure and then take out the entire bottom of it, it doesn't necessarily collapse. Now, I think that's been fixed. Oh god, is it going? Is it going? That's a little bit laggy. 
The physics is sli still slightly laggy for me. Is it going? It definitely something's happening. It's kind of like a an endless flow. Oh god. There's bits at the top that are giving way. Is it going to go? It looks like it is. It's just like a flow of material just falling down. It's like a slow-mo collapse, which is kind of good. It's kind of means it'll give you a chance to escape if you need to. And it's kind of destroyed itself from the outside in, in a way. Has it stopped? Nope, still going. Now, as you guys know, I love physics space games. I love having a bit, little bit of a look about. But as you can see, I think my PC showing its age. It's not smooth. Uh, partially because the recording software takes up quite a lot of CPU, and it's all CPU based. Uh, CPU processor based. Are you collapsing? Yes, you are. You are incredibly laggy, though. I don't think the game's really optimized yet uh, in terms of the physics simulation, hence why it's so damn laggy. But there we go. Okay, so yeah, I managed to take out a, a, like the mass, the vast majority of the structure just by taking out the bottom wall. Now it's by no means all been destroyed yet, <laughs> but I do like the way it's all individual parts. Like they've got individual breakoffs rather than it just being massive slabs of pre-created things. Okay, that didn't do anything. What happened if I can I charge it up? Okay, that does nothing. If I'm really, really close... Okay, it had an effect then, but that took a few attempts. I'm guessing it's because the, the wall was thicker. Uh, in terms of the... Uh, it kind of took a few hits, like, if I stand here. Oh god. The, 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 that, why would you even build like, a wall there? It's just straight onto concrete. Okay, so that actually went down faster than I thought it would do. This is just simply a, a small uh, demonstration. I do still need to get into the game myself. I haven't been mucking about as much as I, I would usually. I didn't realise how loud that music was, by the way. Hopefully it's not drowning me out. It should be fine. As I raise the, the thing to the ground. Die, you bugger! Now, one, the feature I'm mostly looking forward to is multiplayer. Someone creating two castles, and then you just wreaking havoc on each other. It adds a more fun to the game, because, yes, uh, it's good as a single player experience, uh, but there's not, um, there's only so much fun you can have on single player, unless they add AI. They did add AI on the... Um, Space Engineers, towards the, uh, towards the later versions, they ha they did add AI ships, but they never really actively attacked. What would be nice is if the AI would actively lay siege to your castles. If I can... I'm going to take out that, because that stood for far too long. Die, you bugger! Die, potato. Anyways. <laughs> Let's take shelter in what's left of the poor, poor, poor um, tower that I took out. Aww. Can I just take out this? Boop! Boop. Just kind of digging into the structure until I manage to make it all collapse. Because why not? It's all flowing like a river. A river of debris as it all collapses down into the abyss. So if you guys want to see some more of this, feel free to let me know. I do know that uh, a lot of people have already done videos of this and their videos will most likely be of higher quality than mine, but I do try. Uh, so if you guys want to see me play some more of this, feel free to let me know. I'll uh, most likely see if I can rein back a man in for a few games once multiplayer is included. Um, that most likely won't be in until way after full release. Because, as you guys know, um, Space Engineers was in it, it's still in development, but it was a good few months after the initial release that we actually got multiplayer. Is that actually... That just bounced off, that did. Oh god, okay. I'm wreaking havoc, and I'm enjoying it. Alright, so I think that's just about as much as what I can do for now. Simply just a bit of a muck about, just uh, for you guys to see what's... Uh, 
currently in store if you guys choose to get it at full release. It's definitely worth a try. I think it's about $20. It was 13 quid for me, uh, which is pounds. Can I move? I can move this. What the fuck? We. I can move the entire structure, at least I seem to be able to. It got, has got no weight to it. But yeah, it's definitely worth a try. Uh, I'll include a link in the description for you guys to give it a try for yourself if you guys so want to do, if you are so inclined. But that's all for me for now. See ya.